So um, I can't stop playing Schedule One. Schedule One is a game where you become a freelance pharmacist after your legal guardian gets forced into an early retirement. And I'm not gonna lie, I can't get enough. It's so good. So me being the content for live streamers guy, I wondered if I were to stream this game full time, what would my stream look like? So that's what we're doing today. Now, the first thing I want to work on is the webcam. Usually, I like to take the game's UI as inspiration, but in this case, the game is very, very simple. Most of the UI is through this phone. But when we go to contact, we actually have a little something that we could maybe work with. This gauge is customer satisfaction. How could we integrate that into a stream? So in OBS Studio, I would add my camera on a separate scene. Nice, there we are. Okay, from there, I wanna go to filters, and I'm gonna use the advanced mask filter to create a circular mask. Shape circle, there it is. We can adjust it a little bit. Now I'm gonna go to Photoshop and do the rest. So we're gonna create a simple circular layout, just like in the game, and we'll include that little satisfaction meter thing. We're gonna export it as a PNG image with that transparent background. And now we can bring it into OBS Studio as an image source. There it is. Nice, from there, all we have to do is place it and scale it appropriately, just like that. Now, how could we do the actual satisfaction meter? There's multiple ways, but in order to go fast, we're gonna use Photoshop once again, and all I need to do is create a tiny little rectangle and make sure that it's centered, okay? We're gonna keep it rounded, but just a little bit. Turn off everything else and export it just like that. This will be our meter. Back in OBS, you guessed it, another image source, call it meter, bring it in. I'm gonna make sure that my cam overlay is centered by pressing Control D, and I'm gonna select the meter and press Control D. There you go. The idea here is to use the Move plugin in order to just rotate this. Then from there, you can decide to rotate it every time you get like a sub, a donation, or something like that or I just thought of that right now we could have had colors that maybe represent subs bits follows tips and then have the meter move to those things whenever there's an alert be right back all right so that's better red for follow purple for bits blue is for subs because that's like the color of this prime sub and then yellow for tips and you'll notice that I don't have that other outline and the reason why is because I want this outline to also change color every time there's an alert. So I'm gonna export it separately. I'll add another image source, find the outline. We're just gonna make sure that it's underneath. It can be underneath everything, it doesn't matter. Control D to center, there we go. All right, I think we can go ahead and put everything in a group. So holding shift, group selected items. Quick editor's note, the grouping up is not necessary. In fact, it's gonna give me some problems later. And let's start with the outline. I'm gonna add a color correction filter to make it gray. To, to begin with. Color correction, gray. And for that, I need to just drop the saturation. Not bad, uh, maybe play with the gamma. Yeah, I think that's cool. And now using the move plugin, I'm going to add an extra filter and that filter will be move value. And I'm immediately going to call this one follow because I'm gonna make it turn red. Filter type is going to be the color correction, of course. And the move value type, I'm going to put settings so I can have everything. I'm not gonna lie, the easiest way to get this going is to go to color add and color multiply right here. Where it says select color, I'm gonna pick screen color. So it basically becomes a color picker and I'm going to click on the red. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the color add. Click okay. And under custom duration, I'd like for this to take like a whole second. So now if I click on the little eye to turn on this effect, the outline turns red. Let's duplicate it and do it for all the colors. All right, so now I have one move value for every state. If you get a follow, it's going to be red. If you get bits, it's going to be purple. Subs, blue, and tips, yellow. And then after each of those, after the alert is over, it goes back to gray. Now we have to set up that little handle thing so that it actually moves to those things, right? So for this one, I'm actually going to go to the filters of the group and we'll add a move source. Editor's note number two, I'm actually gonna move forwards in time here because I actually encountered a big problem trying to rotate that little handle within the group. The best solution was basically to take it out of the group and actually add the move filter to the scene, not to the group, just to the scene in general and just select the handle. So if I activate follow now, Turns out I forgot a very, very crucial step. OBS will rotate sources with top left as the anchor point. So it doesn't rotate from the middle like it seemed to do here. In order to fix that, we're gonna go and press Control E on the meter. We're gonna go to positional alignment and we're going to go with center. 
All right, this time we're gonna add the move filter somewhere else. And that somewhere else will be on the scene itself. We're gonna transform this scene. I'm gonna press F2 to rename it into cam overlay. So basically this will be its own scene. Right click on the scene, filters, add move source. Call this one reset meter. The source will be meter. Custom duration, 1000 milliseconds. And delay, 4000 milliseconds. Transform, get transform, current position, nice. Duplicate, follow. But then we're gonna manually input minus 75 on the rotation. And we are going to test it by clicking once and praying. So easy. <laughs> So easy this time, okay? What I want to do is immediately tell it to reset itself. So the end delay, 4,000 milliseconds, is to tell it basically wait after you've done this and then scroll all the way down. Next move will be reset meter, right? So now if I reset meter, if I'm using whatever I use to trigger this filter, I can just click on it once, it moves, wait four seconds, and it should move by itself right back to where it was. That's it. Maybe one second is not slow enough. We want it to be extra smooth. So let's put 2000 milliseconds as custom duration. I'm gonna rename this. So now I can just duplicate this and do the same for the rest. All right, if everything went well, I should click on tip meter, for example, and have it go, there you go, extra smooth this time. And then go back after four seconds, just like that. Easy clap. All right, now how do we actually get this working? I'm gonna be using streamer bot, but if you have any bot that can trigger filters inside of OBS, you can do it too. So I'm gonna right click and add a new action and this will be the follow action. I guess the tip is gonna be kind of complicated, but we'll see. I'm gonna call a group schedule one just for this. Click okay. So now I have my schedule one group up here. here. And what I can do is immediately add a trigger and that trigger can be Twitch channel and follow all right so whatever sub action we put here they're gonna act if there is a follow in our case it's very 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 simple and i was gonna say it's gonna reset itself i don't remember if we made it so that it resets itself for the outline color change did we do that <laughs> i totally forgot uh what do we have follow no, we forgot to do that. So let's do that so that with an OBS, things reset themselves so we don't have to worry about delays inside of StreamerBot or anything else, okay? So follow. How do we make sure that you reset yourself after four seconds? We're gonna go to end delay, put 4,000 milliseconds, scroll all the way down until we see next move, and then we'll set that to gray because gray is the reset position. And we'll do the same thing for all of them except for the gray, of course. <laughs> All right, now that's done. It's gonna be very, very simple within Shimmerbot. So we just need two filters to be triggered. One is going to be inside of the scene. So it's the cam outline. So OBS, sources, set source filter state. The scene is cam overlay. The source is cam outline. And the filter is follow. Nice. That's it for this one. This is gonna trigger it and it's gonna reset itself, even though it's not reset right now. <laughs> Now the second one is going to be the scenes filter. So we're gonna go to OBS, we're gonna go to scenes and we'll click on set scene filter state. Scene is cam overlay and that filter is follow meter. That should be it, that should be it. I'm gonna go ahead and manually reset this one, okay? And we're gonna trigger that action, that stream about action that literally has two sub actions, one trigger, and I'm gonna test trigger, see what it does. Is it gonna turn red and then go, uh, and then have the meter go to the red position? Uh, yes, just like that, just like that. <laughs> it's that simple, two sub actions, and then it resets itself. No delays, no, oh my God, there's so many sub actions, I can't remember, come on. Now we can do the same for the rest. So let's add an action, cheers, group schedule one, boom, and trigger is Twitch. Cheer is going to be under chat, so chat, cheer, minimum, maximum, click okay. The trigger is done. Now remember, OBS, sources, set source filter state, cam outline, and cheers. Nice, OBS, scenes, set scene filter state, and it's going to be cheers, that fast, that fast. Again, name, uh, sub, group schedule one, trigger is going to be sub, where do you find sub? It's gotta be on Twitch, subscriptions, and subscription. You can even pick the tier, right click, OBS, source, set source filter state, cam outline, subs, good, OBS, scenes, set scene filter state, sub, alrighty. Let's test the sub one, test trigger. All right, nice, nice, nice. It goes back to neutral, pretty cool. Now tips is going to be a little more complicated, believe it or not. And that's because 
uh, you don't get tips through Twitch directly. You usually get tips through Streamlabs, through Stream Elements, or whatever tip system you're using, through PayPal directly, I don't know, whatever you have in your panels. So I created tips action, and this is the part where basically you would want to connect whatever your system is to that, and you would probably find it under integration. For example, Kofi, if that's something you have, if donation would be what you would pick. Under Stream Elements, tip would be what you would pick. Under Streamlabs, donation would be what you would pick, okay? I personally use Stream Elements. Actually, I don't, I don't currently have a tip thing at all because I'm raising money for my friend Dalo. <laughs> but it would be that simple. You just want to make sure that you have that service connected. Stream Elements, for example, here, you would have to log in. I have it connected to my streamer bot, for example. Streamlabs, okay? So it's under integration. You want to connect your account and then this will work, okay? So same thing as the others. Boom, and if I test trigger, Ta-da! <laughs> it is that simple. So now that you have it as its own scene, it's easy to bring it into whatever other scene. You would have to just go source, scene, and then pick cam overlay, right? And when, once you have it here, you can resize it and put it wherever you want, and it will still work. No matter what scene you're in, as long as you bring it in, Streamerbot is modifying things from that scene, so they will reflect here. All right, time for that little Twitter clip. Hi, I'm Gad Level, and I love playing Schedule 1, so I wanted to rebuild the client satisfaction meter as a functional alert for OBS Studio. So it looks like this when someone follows. It goes to the red, the outline becomes red, and then it comes back on its own. So purple is cheer, blue is sub, and yellow is tips. I'll put the link to the overlay for free, and to set it up, check out the video on my YouTube channel. All right, I think this is good for now. The other thing I'm planning on doing is creating those effects when the customers actually take the products. They usually have some weird effects. I think it would be cool to have that actually happen on camera for those that change the color of the skin and things like that. You can make it kind of a psychedelic effect that goes to a specific color every single time, depending on the specific alert. And this can also be like a channel point reward. It doesn't have to be, you know, people don't have to follow sub tip to make those things happen. You can decide what they do. In the game, there's multiple effects and I might want to replicate them. If that's something you would like to see, let me know in the comments. Also make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it with your streamer friends, especially the ones who've been streaming schedule one. And if you want to see me play schedule one, follow me on Twitch and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.